Good morning guys, today I've got three awesome tips that anybody can use and start using straight away today to start helping you burn some more body fat. Let's get into it. Okay guys, the first thing that I want you to start doing every single morning or at least four times a week is just get up and get moving. Go and do some low intensity, low impact cardio. So that could be things like a nice steady walk. You could go for a little ride on your bike or you could go for a little slow swim. I do not want you to get up and start doing hit cardio and going for very, very hard runs because what that is going to do, it's going to increase your appetite as soon as you get back and it's going to cause you to eat absolutely crap loads. So what you want to do is just get straight up, get out of bed, take some water on board and then go and get a couple thousand steps in. Listen to an audio book, listen to some music, do whatever you want while you're doing it, but just get out, get some steps in, get moving. Why we do low level cardio is because like I said before, if we do something too high intensity, it might increase your appetite to the point where you overeat throughout the day. Whereas if you just go for a nice steady walk or do a nice steady swim or a cycle, you tend to not be too hungry. Okay, the second thing I would like you to start doing from now on is having a low calorie breakfast on a morning, which is predominantly high in protein and high in fat. There is two reasons why we do this. The first one being keeping calories nice and low on the morning is gonna help us stay in that calorie deficit throughout the day. If we overeat on the morning, say I have a thousand calories, it is gonna make it very, very difficult to not overeat throughout the day uh, and we'll tend to go into a calorie surplus. The second reason is why we keep fats and protein high in this meal and keep carbs on the low side is because when we have carbohydrates, our blood sugar spikes up to a level. When it spikes and it comes back down, we start feeling hunger pains and that can trick the body into wanting to overeat throughout that morning period. So if you have a thousand calorie breakfast on the morning, which is full of carbohydrates, by 10 o'clock that blood sugar will be coming back down and you will start feeling hunger pains and start wanting to eat again. And then you'll go straight for the carbohydrates, the chocolate biscuits in work or whatever you've got around you and you'll start eating, which then again, will uh, make you eat in a calorie surplus and stop you from losing body fat. The last and final thing I want you guys to be doing is drinking two liters of water before 12 o'clock every single day. And there's two reasons for this. The first one being performance wise. It doesn't matter if you're working in an office or if you're going out and running a marathon, we need to be hydrated for our bodies to perform at the max level and for our body to function correctly. The second reason is because drinking a lot of water actually keeps you full. And if you are dehydrated, your brain actually thinks that you're hungry. So you might tend to go and eat, but actually you're just dehydrated. So make sure you're taking on enough water so you feel nice and full. That coupled with your low calorie breakfast should get you all the way through to 12 o'clock. If you are someone that tends to intermittent fast, so you push your breakfast back, then maybe offer some coffee as well to suppress your appetite, um, to give you that sort of cognitive enhancement. You can use this as well if you are having breakfast, but coffee is also a great sort of trick that you can use throughout the morning period, which I'm sure most of you do already, um, to help you get through that morning period and curb that sort of appetite. So guys, that is gonna be the end of the video for today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this sort of video, and let me know what your tips are to uh, get through that morning period, because I know that that's the bit of the day that I struggle with in terms of dieting. Uh, so let me know what you guys struggle with, and let me know if you like this type of video. Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna bang some videos on the screen now. Make sure you give one of them a click, because I'm sure you'll enjoy it. 